Let's discuss what's going on inside the Republican Party these days in the future with Fox News contributor and pastor of the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Dr. Robert Jeffress. Welcome back, Pastor. Good to see you. Thank you, Shannon. Good to see you. Okay, so the Wall Street Journal says this about the Republican future starts now. This is authored by Carl Rove. He says, to rebuild, Republicans must decide what their party stands for. The way forward begins with clarifying what the GOP's answer should be to the nation's challenges with an eye to the 2022 elections. But, Pastor, we know tonight there are a lot of internal controversies. We are hearing tonight, too, that the House Minority Leader McCarthy is going to meet with Congresswoman Green on Monday to, or, or next week to discuss uh, what's going on. Um, but there is a lot of conflict and attention being drawn to the GOP in ways that they may not like right now. Well, that's right, Shannon. And look, I want to be clear. I don't identify as a Republican. I identify as a Christian who votes predominantly Republican because of the pro-life, pro-agenda platform of the Republican Party. But if the GOP ever hopes to regain the House, the Senate, the White House to enact that agenda, they're going to have to make two specific changes. First of all, I think the GOP needs to quit playing footsie with extremist groups and uh, conspiracy theorist. They are not helping the GOP. They are like parasites that are sucking the lifeblood out of the GOP. And secondly, I think the GOP is going to have to unapologetically embrace President Trump and his agenda. I mean, after all, he won more votes than any Republican in history. And anytime the GOP tries to distance themselves from President Trump, they're distancing themselves from their own voters. And look, we've seen, even in these last 10 days with all of these executive orders from Joe Biden, how quickly the moral and spiritual fabric of our country can unravel. That's why it is imperative the GOP get its act together and do so quickly. So I want to give you a chance to respond to something in the Washington Post. This is an opinion piece. It says, for evangelicals still clinging to Trumpism, Biden offers an off-ramp. Will they take it? Rick Tyler writes, evangelical leaders have a lot to repent for when it comes to Donald Trump. They made a deal with the devil and didn't get nearly enough to show for it. Now they need to find a way back from the immoral wilderness, a move that would require evangelical leaders to stop thinking of themselves as the arm of one political party. I know you've been supportive of the president, but as you said, um, you're not specifically identifying with the Republican Party, but how do you respond to what he's saying there? Well, you know, President Trump enjoys 95 percent approval rating from Republicans. And so I think these people who want to help lead us out of the wilderness are going to lead us into obscurity when it comes to seeing our agendas enacted. It's never been any secret why we support President Trump. We support him for his policies. And we've seen just in this last piece that Lauren did, we are quickly moving from the most pro-life president in history, Donald J. Trump, to the most pro-death president in history when it comes to the unborn, uh, Joe Biden. And I think it's time for us to reiterate our support for the Trump agenda. So do you think that it's possible to divorce uh, what you say are the extremist um, sections or segments uh, of the party uh, from the mainstream and what they hope to accomplish? I know that you've said they got to embrace President Trump, but his critics out there will say he's the one who has fomented the extremists. Your quick thoughts on that. Well, I don't think he's fomented the extremist, and uh, I talked to him recently, and I said I don't think he was responsible for inciting this riot. I think he was calling for a peaceful protest. He had every constitutional right to question the election. Uh, he denounced the violence once it happened. You can't lay this at the feet of President Trump. And look, when it comes to building unity, Shannon and the Republican Party, I think of the words of St. Augustine. He was talking about the church, but he said in the Essentials, unity. And non-essentials, liberty, but in all mm -hmm. things, charity. We need some more charity in the Republican Party if they're mm -hmm. ever going to hope to win another election. Well, that's just good advice, I think, for us all in general in these very tense days. Uh, Pastor, thank you so much.